next. Marco Petrits from Hamburg. from uh, the Institute of, uh, for German Studies uh, from the University of Hamburg. And uh, today I'm going to talk a bit about our, our current project um, called Horeclia. It's an interdisciplinary collaboration between my uh, institute and the Institute of uh, for Computer Science of the University of Heidelberg. It's a three-year project started in early uh, 2013 and, and early 2016. Um, and it is funded by the General Federal Ministry of Education and Research. Uh, <coughs> the goal was to develop a digital heuristic for annotation. Um, so what is a digital heuristic? It's um, a tool for automatic and semi-automatic um, annotation of low to high level concepts. For this um, project, we focus on um, uh, the narratological aspect of time, but the um, methodological approach should be um, yeah, adapted, adaptable to other domains as well. So our first step was to <coughs> compile a corpus of 21 uh, German fictional uh, short stories. And we had a, a team of narratologically trained uh, human annotators uh, who annotated the um, short stories in, um, in terms of, uh, for the uh, low level part, temporal aspects like, um, or temporal signals like uh, <coughs> surface markers, phrases like tomorrow, yesterday, but also more um, narratologically interesting concepts like uh, frequency, duration, order, which describe the relationship between um, yeah, uh, narrated time and uh, narrating time. Um, order, for example, includes um, concepts like flashbacks and flash forwards. Um, the annotators used our um, collaborative uh, annotation platform called um, Katma. Uh, they were <coughs> explicitly allowed to, to disagree on, on how they annotated um, the um, concepts, but each um, disagreement um, had to be discussed. Uh, and one um, major first outcome of our project was that um, all those uh, disagreements that couldn't be um, resolved by discussion were mainly rooted in uh, or, or caused by two aspects, either um, underspecified uh, under specified theories or concepts, and we tried to uh, tackle this by adding more specification uh, to the concepts, so theory theoretical, narratological, um, yeah, approved the theories of the nar narratology. And the um, second cause was um, uh, yeah, implicit assumptions. And we tried to make this um, explicit uh, and use them to use them later as um, arguments for the automatic components. For example, there are, there are two types of um, events in narratology. And uh, depending on <coughs> what type of event you choose, your markup will, uh, will change. So uh, the next step was um, uh, to learn from the manual annotations. Um, we start with the temporal signals, so with the easy stuff. Um, we already had an uh, automatic uh, uh, rule-based tagger called Heidel time, which uh, did quite well on, on news texts and, and um, simple non-fictional uh, texts, but um, failed on uh, yeah, our fictional short stories, obviously because of the richness, richness of the language. Um, so we, we improved the rule set uh, by learning from the um, yeah, manual markup. Um, to um, yeah, to make idle time find more um, 
temporary signals. Um, this, uh, yeah, we succeeded, but uh, actually we got a lot of uh, false positives this way. So we had a, a second um, correcting component uh, based on the machine learning algorithm, which was trained on 17 manually selected features. Um, and uh, by this way, we, could, we, we um, created a hybrid um, automatic uh, component, which, um, yeah, uh, does quite well also in terms of uh, precision. So um, we could reduce the number of false positives. Um, so right now we are working on uh, uh, mostly on, on the aspect of order. So we try to detect, um, do the same to detect uh, uh, flashbacks and flash forwards, for example. Um, yeah. Uh, so our target uh, user group is mainly non-technical. So we um, try to integrate um, the um, digital heuristic, the tool, um, into our um, annotation um, platform. It's um, the, the tool itself it's, uh, is a UEMA pipeline, the digital heuristic, and um, is wrapped by a web service. And um, Katma has also a, a web service uh, API, um, so they can talk uh, via web services to each other, um, but for the user, it's 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 still an easy access. So uh, um, the user can start the um, um, automatic annotation um, via the uh, graphical user interface, um, and also has an, an interactive way of. Um, this is the semi-automatic part. It has an interactive way of, um, uh, yeah, accepting or denying a proposed automatic annotation. Thank you. Questions? Uh, I would like to know in the in the part in which you uh, co make the correction with uh, an, uh, an automatic process, uh, you say that you use uh, 70 uh, te uh, texts of your corpus to, to learn. No, 17 f uh, features to train the machine learning component. Features like um, obvious ones, part of speech tags, um, sentence complexity, uh, surrounding sentences, mm -hmm. and also um, already uh, validated temporal signals. signals and yeah. yeah, and which kind of, uh, of resource you should do to the features, to the post tagging, for example? Sorry? Uh, we, uh, which uh, uh, resource uh, which uh, you use Stanford or Freelin or whatever to, to make the post tagger, or it was the, the manual annotation provide you the the, 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 no. the uh, yes, we, we used a, a, a ready made a tree tagger for the POS uh, annotations and a, um, I think it's called Morphisto for the morpheme annotations. Okay, and uh, which. Uh, we're running out of time, I'm afraid. <laughs> you, you'll have to talk, I'm yeah. sure about that. So uh, we have to go on with the next. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.